In trying to crack down on ram raids, the government's ram raided one of its own laws, the Bill of Rights Act. The Attorney General, Cabinet Minister David Parker, says the bill breaches three different fundamental rights afforded to Kiwis. But as political reporter Lloyd Burr reveals, the government's not fussed and is forging ahead. Trying to look tough on crime in July, but not tough enough on the detail. I found there are issues that need to be addressed. David Parker's the Attorney General, the government's legal eagle, and if anyone loves the minutiae of legalese, it's him. How serious are those breaches? Uh, well, uh, I've, I've laid that out in, in, the, um, in the report. Which says the plan to process 12 and 13 year olds in the youth court breaches the right of a child. Taking bodily samples from 12 and 13 year olds breaches the right to be secure against unreasonable search and seizure and by making it an aggravating factor to post offending online would breach the right to freedom of expression. We'll always work to make sure that the rights of the child are upheld in every way. Just not this time around. The police minister saying thanks, but no thanks to Parker's legal opinion. So you're going to proceed with it in its current Yes, form. we will proceed with it. In its even, even though it breaches the Bill of Rights in three different places? That's correct. I expect the select committee will uh, address those issues. But that's wishful thinking given the opposition are happy with it. It's always a balance, but we support the bill. Coincidentally, outside Parliament, a hikoi arrived urging MPs not to disregard the rights of children. They deserve aroha, they deserve love, they, be, they deserve to be cared for. Delivering a petition calling on MPs to uphold basic human rights of children in care, among them social worker Aaron Hendry, who's not surprised by the child rights snub. It's feeling a little bit like deja vu, another policy that is not evidence-based, which is clearly a breach, which is clearly not legal, um, and it's getting pushed through again. He feels betrayed Labor's ditched a restorative justice model for a punitive one. I'm really disappointed. You know, I, I would not have expected a policy like this from the Labour Party. It's delivering to make sure that our communities are safer. It begs the question, what's the point of the Bill of Rights Act if the government can just ignore it to look tough on crime in the lead-up to an election? Lloyd Burr, News Hub.